this is my video abstract for the paper titled A Characterization of Regular Tetrahedra in Z3 uh, to appear in Journal of Number Theory. Here's an example of um, a regular tetrahedra that has um, integer coordinates. Uh, one can take 004, 703, 350, 457, and compute the Euclidean distances between every two vertices and get five sort of two. In general, um, if one wants to wants to get a, um, a regular tetrahedron, the side lengths uh, of the regular tetrahedron will have to be of the form uh, n square root of two with n a natural number. Um, but before that, um, of course, one can look first to find if a uh, regular uh, equilateral tri triangle exists with uh, integer coefficients. And um, the conditions for that, uh, for the side lengths to exist, is um, that the side length is given by, uh, it needs to be of the following form, a uh, natural number times square root of 2 times a quadratic expression uh, or m and n are um, integers. So this is a continuation of uh, a paper that appeared in the integers in 2008 about the characterization of all equilateral triangles with uh, integer coordinates. It turns out that um, every equilateral triangle uh, with uh, integer coordinates is contained in a plane uh, whose normal is given by some vector ABC with ABC uh, and D and odd or odd integers. So in this paper we have this um, characterization that every equilateral triangle up to a translation that brings one of the vertices into the origin um, is going to look uh, the following way. Uh, it's going to be given by some uh, vectors um, zeta and eta, which in a sense determine the uh, minimal um, tessellate, uh, tra uh, tessellation uh, of this plane uh, with equilateral triangles. Uh, and we have an expression, precise expression for uh, zeta and eta given by these two formulas, um, where S and R are solutions of this um, represent for this equation in terms of uh, a and b which are the two of the coordinates of the normal vector for example an interesting example is is this suppose you hit you take d to be the 2009 then 2009 has a presentation um, enters into an equation of this form one square plus one square plus seven one square equals 3 times 2009 squared. Um, one can take uh, an M and an N here appropriately to get uh, M55 and 16 for those and to get this P and Q with their integer coordinates and check that this together with the origin forms an equilateral triangle. Now, in this paper we wanted to find uh, in and say one one an equilateral triangle can be completed to a um, tetrahedra tetrahedron in space that will still have uh, integer coordinates. And uh, if one takes such a, an equilateral triangle, of course, can com uh, this can compl be completed in two ways to a, a regular tetrahedron. Uh, let's say one of them I'm going to call this vertex is R plus, and one of them I'm going to call it R minus. And uh, so we have this characterization in this paper which says uh, one of these um, two uh, vertices uh, which can be computed easily in terms of the coordinates of the uh, uh, required triangle that we start with. And um, those will be, both of them will be um, having integer coordinates if k, uh, where k is the um, uh, part here in the quadratic form uh, squared up here, so this becomes actually a dk square root of 2 in the end. So it's, it's going to be of this form. It's going to be um, characterized by the fact that this is divisible by 3. This k is divisible by 3. And 
if it's not divisible by three, then all, one and only one of these two vertices is in uh, has um, integer coordinates. In this example, since k is 49, one can check that one and only one of these um, uh, vertices will give you an integer coordinates. 